Hi, my name's Andy from SBS, and today we're going to be looking at one of our most popular twin axle trailers, which is the model R4-2600. What that means is it's a four-wheel trailer. The 2600 indicates its gross capacity, um, and this one's got around about two-ton load capacity. And in standard form, you're going to get a boat on this of around about 5.8 metres when measured from the bow eye to the transom. If you see on our website, we quote BET. It's actually a short nomica for bow eye to transom. And that's the supported length of the boat. Okay, so 5.8 meters bow to transom, you're gonna get a six and a half, seven meter rib on one of these. So it'll, it's, you're actually into sort of small big boating, if that's not uh, too stupid. So it's gotta be a robust trailer. It's gotta be a strong trailer and of course, as you'd expect, it's got the SBS fully welded chassis. And when you're putting two ton of your pride and joy on it, you wanna make sure it's strong enough and robust enough. And we wouldn't do anything else but a fully welded chassis for that sort of weight. Um, at the sharp end, as ever, we've got the Alco running gear. So the Alco 251 coupling. Uh, it's the uh, latest one, so in 2020 they came in with the safety handle, which is always up. You cannot depress it until um, a ball is put into the socket, then it automatically shuts down. This is to give you a, a good visual indicator of whether it's attached or not to the vehicle. That's supplemented by the little green indicator there that pops up. And again with SBS on all our EU trailers, so that's the European whole vehicle registration trailers, we include a lock as standard. On the UK version, you've got the same coupling, the same welded chassis, the same running gear, you just don't get a couple of these refinements, but there's nothing there that you can't add uh, for a relatively small cost. Um, as you know, firm favorite, our cart jockey wheel, it's just got a great action, a good, a good bearing in there. And that um, takes 150 kilos of nose weight, which is way in excess of what it needs to be. A number of people point out about the plastic wheel on the, on the jockey wheel. We fit that because as it's going into salt water, it's anti-corrosive. So that should last a long time. It's got exactly the same load capacity as the steel equivalent. We just think the plastic one is probably more practical considering the environment you're using the trailer in. New for 2021, the Connaught uh, winch uh, with all the EU trailers. Got the waterproof LED side lights and forward marker lights down the side, which are hardwired into this junction box. So this is the bit that goes in the back of your car. And if you put nothing else in there, you still be lit up like a Christmas tree with your side lights and forward um, indicators. Um, but of course, what you're looking to do is plug your uh, light board into there, and then you've got full lighting function at the rear of the trailer. Now with the 13 pin, the advantage of that, subject to the electrics on the back of the car, um, you'll have reversing lights on the light board as well, which is great for maneuvering, particularly in winter. So moving down the trailer, um, you've got the welded on lashing lugs. Now these are a great feature, not to be underestimated. So like I said, the weight of boat you're talking on here, two tons, you need to know that it's secured properly for the safe transportation of the boat and also for everything and everyone around it. So typically you'd have three points of contact again. You'd have your winch through the bow eye um, of the boat and then we'd recommend a ratchet strap to go through and back um, the eye so it secures onto these eye bolts and then ratchet it securely, which is effectively the winch is pulling it forward and the ratchet straps are pulling it back. And what you do at the stern, you do the reverse, attach the ratchet strap to pull forward. So everything's pulling against each other, which is holding the boat down and on the trailer securely. The little feature we put on all our trailers, you've got a height adjustable uh, little snubber post, which is great. Not all boats uh, need it, but it's nice. Probably wants to be a little bit further forward when you've set the trailer up. But as your boat come on, it just helps lift, lift the bow, so the, the bow locates securely in the snubber. All rod brakes, of course, on uh, all our trailers. And again, just draw your attention to this. Um, it's not a, a little, <laughs> little cross member. It's just an additional support to hold the weight of the brake rod. As the trailers get longer, the, the weight of the rod is, is sufficient enough to actually pull the cables on. Um, so to counteract that, you can see you've got these one, two, 
um, eye bolts there um, with some shrouds on to make sure it rubs smoothly between the two so it supports the weight of the brake rod so it doesn't impair your braking efficiency. This trailer's got two swing beams uh, with 24 rollers per swing beam so you've got fantastic support. Uh, again on our proprietary SBS forged roller brackets. You know, the forged uh, roller brackets are unique in the industry with our nylon bushed wobble rollers. Now, these really do roll under load, which is great, um, but just make sure you're secured on the slipway and don't undo everything, because um, it will roll off. So this swings nicely at the attitude of the boat. You'll notice we've got a very robust anti-roll facility, just to, so it, it doesn't, when the boat's not on, it doesn't roll 360, it can't do that. So just little touches like that just show we've um, thought about it. You've got full adjustability, inboard and outboard, and some height adjustment with these as well, on those roller carriages. And again, with all EU trailers, full push fit plumbing for your hub flush system, which is just one single port of entry, and it does all four wheels simultaneously. Now this is great to extend the service life of your brake shoes and everything within the hub. There's nothing for the bearings because remember the bearing is a sealed unit. So that's maintenance free. So it's not maintenance free forever, you do need to give regular checks to it but it's an incredibly reliable unit. Coming to the rear of the trailer now, you'll notice we've got some side steps on here. Just a really handy feature just to help you get up onto the boat or at least um, throw a ratchet strap over. Uh, and, and these we fit a nice soft pad on, so delicate little toes or just simple grip is a, again another nice feature that nobody else does. Um, moving back again, large oversized welded on lashing lugs to secure the boat at the rear. With our, of course, uh, this is the business end of the unit, a big swing beam here to help catch the boat uh, as you come on. So as the beam swings, um, it, captures the bow, it keeps it straight and just helps you get uh, travel in a straight line on the trailer. So a great feature. Lighting board, it's got a forward facing white LED. The main unit on the light cluster is bulb and that's because we know it will work on 100% of cars. If you want to upgrade to an LED light board, that's an option. Um, however, some cars are still not compatible with a full LED system. Whereas with a bulb on, we know it's going to work. But the option's there for you to choose. All light boards are extendable, so they can come to the rear of the load, which is a legal requirement, uh, and held on securely with our little star clamps here. And that, I think, covers the R42600.